Hello everybody, back in Saul here for another episode of 1990X, a game without mechanics. And uh, last time we came here to the asylum, because apparently this is where people with Clara's condition are kept. So, who, who are you? I wanted to talk with you. Uh, my name is Clara. Nobody wants to talk to me, not since they left. I'm Aaron. They weren't. They. I used to be an explorer. Distant lands and strange creatures. I did such a good job. I used to lay on the beach in the sun. That's when they left. The voice? They came, they made me feel complete, and they left. Is everyone else here with you? Or everyone else here like you? They all say so, but I know what I had was special. Okay, thanks for talking with me. I'm so sorry. You have no idea. Alright. Hi there, I'm Clara. I'm Darla. I heard you're talking with Aaron. Yeah? Do you want to talk with Aaron? Sometimes. I was an explorer too. I went underground. They went underground with me. They brutalized me. I never asked why. They never said. Do you miss them? Yes. If they were still with me, I wouldn't be in here. Thanks, Darla. Do you have a way out? No, I'm sorry. That's okay. It's not your fault. Uh, who is this? Hello, my name is Clara. I'm Anna. And you had a they? Yes, I had a lot of jobs once. Normal jobs, but I was great at them. Or they were. Once they left, I couldn't do anything but cry. So you miss them? I think. If I never knew them, I wouldn't have cared. They ruined me. Do you have any advice? Never let go. It's always better before. Thanks for talking to me, Anna. Okay. Got testimonials. Well, let's take this outside. As far as it goes, yeah. Okay. Never let go. It's always better before. You heard it here her first, folks. <laughs> okay. That was really chilling. And are you going to leave? Uh, not if I can help it. I just, I don't want to be like them. And if that's what happens when you leave, then don't. Uh, I don't know what I want anymore. Can you think of anything that might help? Seems like we're at the end of the road. Uh, how heavy do you want this to get? What do you mean? Uh, your character in a video game I'm playing. Delilah is a city in a video game I'm playing. All of this is a video game I'm playing. Ha. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. You're lucky. I'm too sad to be angry with you for joking. I'm not joking. You're actually trying to convince me that my life is a video game? Uh, yes. This is just... Ugh, fine. I'll play along. I'm in a video game. How could Delilah possibly look this realistic? Your perspective is different from mine. What does that even mean? It's, I'm me, Clara. I look at stuff and I feel stuff. If I were in a video game, what would be the fucking point? Did I just not exist before you showed up? Uh, yes, that's what that means. How stupid do you think I... I... Rebecca's machine. She said it was like I was creating memories in real time. But, no. Fuck. If you won't be serious about this, I need to go to Darlene. I need more information. There must be more information. Why would I lie to you? If you're telling the truth, then get ready to play this game for a long, long time. I won't let you leave. Got... Sampla. Okay, well. I guess we'll go with Darlene. So we gotta go straight down. Darlene this way? I don't think Darlene's this way. Is she? No. Darlene is this way. Yeah, this is an odd concept, isn't it? Trying to convince a video game character that they're a video game character. Darlene's gone. Oh no, she's up in the... She's in front of the microwave. Hello. Oh, hi, Clara. I don't really have any. I need more information. You have more, right? You went to the asylum? Yeah, and it was all bullshit. Is that what's gonna happen to me? Clara. Answer me. You know. You fucking have to. I don't know what to say. Okay, I'll help you start. How much longer do I have until I'm like them? I don't know. Why did it happen to me? How am I special? I don't know. Is there a fucking cure? No. 
Oh my god. I should have just listened to Jenny. Is that your ex? The doctor? You made the right decision. Don't fucking talk to me like you have answers. All I ever wanted was a cure. You don't have one. Jenny didn't have one. What's the fucking difference? The difference is that you decided to try and help make the world a better place. And Jenny wasn't trying? Look, if you don't like what I have to say, you can leave now and never think about it again. What's that supposed to mean? Tomorrow I'll be planting an explosive device in the Gail Haynes Memorial Hospital. No one has collected their wealth of paroxysm pods, and it's my mission to destroy them. To destroy that many pods is to critically disrupt its industry. Our intel suggests that the military, upon my discovery, will attempt to negotiate my arrest. I will not let that happen. I'm going in, and I'm not coming back out. What? It's happening again. It's my fault. What's your fault? It's me. I'm making everybody leave. Clara, these plans were in motion well before we met. But what if they weren't? What are you talking about? I have a concert I need to attend. Clara? Okay, where's the silver? I don't know where the silver is. Because that's where the concert is. The silver... Oh, there we go. The silver is a big purple and brown building a, blo a block south of here. Purple and brown. Here you get there. The show's going to start without us. Okay. Is it this way? Might not be this way. Yeah, I don't think it's this way. Nope. Let's head to the left, I guess. one. I'm assuming it's this building. Glinda? Mark? Mac? Hello? Hi, Clara. I saved you a seat. I put some flowers around it. I hope you don't mind. Am I the only person here? Did something happen? No one showed up but you. Oh. Well, you guys shouldn't take it personally. Most everyone's already gone. It's just me. What? Mark and Mac are otherwise occupied. I got Mark to record backup vocals, though. Is everything okay? No. We had a falling out. Oh no, did she shoot them? I couldn't do it like them. Do what? Step seven. I'm cheating, but this was our last show. Um, hello. We're the Also Rans. We're a retro cover band, which is a fancy way of saying that we're stuck in the past. Ha. Now, here's a song. It's our first ever original, and we don't know what it's called. Lights. She kill Mark and Mac? Um. I'm thinking about you. I really hope I don't get copyright strike for this song. Uh, 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 uh. Well then. How long is the song exactly? <laughs> Thanks for nothing. That should be the title of the song. Thanks for nothing. Thank you. That was really good, Glinda. Why don't we go grab a bite to eat? I can't do that, Clara. I need to finish the show. Glinda, what's step seven? You're going to be really upset when I achieve my bliss. You'll cry. That's how jealous you'll be. Jealous? That's the thing we have in common, Clara. We'd both rather be any place but here. I'll let you in on a secret, since the rest of the audience isn't listening. I lied. That was just another cover. Um? Oh. 
Glinda, why? I hope you're right. Hope this is just a game. Okay, so now Glinda shot herself. Great. Okay. Where do we go from here? Do we go back to uh back to Darlene? I guess. Let's try to go to Darlene and see what happens. Hello, Darlene. Nope, can't talk to her. Okay, do we go home then? Hi, my friend just... They just killed themselves on stage and I'm just gonna go home. See ya. This game is intense. Alright. Let's see what happens when we go home. We need to see if they're alright. We need to see if who's alright. Oh, Mark and Mac. Yeah, let's go to their apartment. They're gonna be dead, aren't they? Oh god, what? They're both sacrificed in... What are these? Hexagrams, not pentagrams, hexagrams. Star of David. <laughs> hexagrams. Figures. Got Clara's cassette, six of six. Okay, so we have two of them. Um... Go home, I guess. But I'll throw caution to the wind. I can't stop loving you more and more. So why would you want me? Oh god. Why did it just get so distorted when we walked in here? Let's uh let's go to bed, I guess. Everything started before you, trust me. Oh, it's this song again. Um. Renters Wanted. Do they all say Renters Wanted? Reasonable prices, spacious lucidity chamber. <laughs> We're well, then walking to some of interesting things. Very quiet. The place feels practically deserted. Deserted? Deserted. What's this? Our own place. Oh, hello. I'm the only one left. Are you going to let me leave? Oh, God. Day 7. Sunday. Christmas Eve, 1990X. Merry Christmas. Ah, I haven't lost your sense of humor. Merry Christmas. I guess today's the day we finally ditch, huh? We should try to get out of the city before the proper evacuation sweep, seeing as I'm supposed to be the reason everyone's evacuating. Uh, there's nothing else you want to do? Honestly, let's just get the fuck out of here before something else bad happens. Our best bet is dead south. That's the road out of town. Okay. Let's leave town in our pajamas. We've lived, we've lived the past few days in pajamas, haven't we? Alright. So we're going to head south then, I guess, to get out of town. Man, this game is so dark. I wasn't expecting such a dark game when I started playing this game. Uh, also, just uh, FYI, I've been recording this whole game in one sitting. I haven't stopped the game at all. It's all been one straight shot of me playing this game. 
So, uh, yeah. Let's see what happens when we hit south. Let's go. Now leaving Delilah. Okay. Well, here we are at the glamorous out of city bus line. It's bittersweet. Delilah's practically all I know. But I can't not leave, right? I'm poisoned. Rebecca and Glinda and Darlene, they all made their own decisions, right? Fuck. If I try really hard and think about this stuff, it only makes it worse. Press your pinky, I guess. Yeah, let's do it. Aw. Oh. Guess things could be worse. Before we actually walk over to the stop, I uh, want to try something, okay? Okay. Okay, cool. <clears throat> uh, hi there. I'm Clara. We haven't met before. Hell, I don't even know if you exist. Or, um, heck. Sorry, rookie mistake. It's not like I'm opposed to the idea. It's just, you know, I'm a girl and I'm not into dicks. So kind of a shitty pull for the whole organized thing. Oh, she's she's praying. But if you do exist, I'd assume you're wise enough to hate that stuff. Um, relatedly, if you could step in and handle some of that, it'd be great. Shit gets ugly. So where was I? This isn't a great first appeal. I get that, sorry. I'll just cut to the chase. I'm really tired and confused and scared. I'm worried that sometime, maybe tomorrow, maybe next year... Oh god. I didn't get to read the last bit of that. She's worried people are gonna... That that I'm gonna leave, right? Based on the, those people in the asylum that I talked to, that seems bad. So, if you're looking at my predicament right now, and if you can hear me, and if you care, then please, just give me a sign. Got no response. Well, it was worth a shot. Why Walk me over to the stop. Thanks. Now we wait. Could you level with me for a second? Is this actually a game? Yes. Wow, the star of my very own game. Nine-year-old Clara would have been psyched. Is it good? Yeah, it's pretty good. I like it. Yeah, it's good for me. You know, there's something kind of freeing about just believing you. This is my zone. I've learned basically everything I know from video games. Like, have you ever played Final Fantasy VI? No. You really, really should. There's this part where the whole first half of the game you're trying to save the world and then halfway through you lose. You lose. The world fucking ends. And then in the second half of the game you vanquish the evil. She is spoilers, Clara. But it doesn't fix everything. You just make this sh this new shitty world a little less so. At the start, you just keep thinking about how better things used to be. But then by the end, all you're fighting for is the hope that somehow after the game ends your actions will have made the future a better place. The rain's stopping. You know what? Fuck this. Wait, the, the, the arrows change direction on that sign. Fuck this. If there's one thing video games taught me, it's to fuck over authority at every turn. Take me to Darlene. I want to say goodbye. Got, you should really get on the bus. <laughs> Alright, well, we'll go to Darlene next episode. I have a feeling like we're getting close to the end of the game, so... If I stop the episode here and then there isn't a whole lot, I'll tack it on at the end here. But, uh, yeah, that's going to do it for us for today. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you all next time. Bye-bye!